In this video we're going to look at some real life examples of similar figures, uh, solving proportions with similar fingers, fi figures. So we'll start with example 1, length of a instrument, and then example 2, screen resolution. Okay. So example 1, if the entire length of a violin is 24 inches, while its body length is 15 in uh, and its body length is 15 inches, and then if the base is proportional to the violin and its body length is 45 inches, find its total length. So uh, just really quickly try and draw a quick picture to show you what this means. Here's a violin, and then we're going to have a bass, right? So they're the same shape instrument exactly. One's bigger than the other though. So the violin is, uh, sorry for the, the very crude drawing here. Okay, uh, sorry, terrible drawing. The body length is 15, and the um, the uh, the entire length is 24. Okay, or the total length. So that's the violin. With the bass, though, it's a bigger instrument, and the, it's saying that the body length is 45. Okay. So that's the uh, body length of the, uh, the base. Oh man, I'm just so bad at this. Sorry. Well, I guess I am. What I oh, she didn't go. I just wanted to get to the end there. So that's the body, basically, of the of the uh, base. And then, of course, it's a little bit longer. All right. What is the total length? Is the question. Okay. So well, I guess we could put these guys in red. So this is the one we have to find, and the total length of the violin is 24, okay? So we could set up a proportion where you have, um, and so this is unknown, you could call that x. So you could set up a proportion where you have the total length, um, over the body length, right, for each instrument and then solve it and then you would have the answer. So total length for a violin is 24 which corresponds to a body length of 15. Now that is equal to a so this is the violin right and then we're gonna figure out what the bass is. The bass has a body length of 15 or no 45 silly me 45 and a total length of unknown, so x, right? Or n, or a, or whatever. You can use any letter you like. I guess I use x a lot. It doesn't matter what you use. Now we have to cross multiply, and then we'll get the answer, right? So cross multiply, and we get um, 15 times x equals 24 times 45. And then we've got to. I, well, I like, instead of multiplying these and then dividing, I like to divide at this point. And you see the 15s will cross cancel. I'll get one x, one times x over one, which is x equal to. And this might help because look, five definitely goes into these guys, doesn't it? Five into that goes three times. Five into that goes nine times. And look, 3 goes into 9. 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 9 goes 3 times. So what I have is 24 times 3 over 1. So I just need to multiply 24 times 3 and I have the answer, right? 3, 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 is 2 is a 6 and 1 is 7. So I have x equals 72 watts. We're talking about inches, aren't we? And actually we could divide that by 12 and get feet for fun. So to turn that into feet you'd go 72 and just divide it by 12 and then you have feet. Okay. 72 inches divided by 12. So we could go um, 2 into that goes 6 times, 2 into that goes um, 6 times and 1 over. 2 into 12 goes 6 times, so we get 66 over 6. 
Now, 6 into that goes once, 6 into that goes once, and 6 into that goes once, so we get 11 over 1, or 11. Right? So, x equals 72 inches, or x equals 11 feet. Right? Let's have a look at example 2. Oh, so, so sorry, the uh, length of the base, of course, is 11 feet, or 72 inches. Right? Okay, let us look at example two, screen resolution. Um, sometimes uh, videos that I make don't play very well and so I, I make them smaller. So uh, the best resolution I, I would have, I, it could be a burden this, but the best resolution for the videos, these videos I make is 800 times 600. But sometimes to make them play, uh, f play better on people's computers, if you have slow internet and that, I make them to be 640 times what? So times an unknown amount. So please press pause and figure out what the uh, size of the this uh, smaller video is. Okay, I'm going to do it now. And um, by the way, pixels means uh, definition. Like there's more dots in, in the picture, which gives it a clearer image, not so blurry, right? Anyway. And also better, slightly better quality sound too. Well, better quality sound too. So 800 pixels. So basically, we have length and width. You could say. So our proportion could be the length over width equals length over width. Okay. So we could start with this one. 800 length corresponds to 600 width, and that equals 640 of a length corresponding to an unknown width, right? Then we could cross multiply and um, we get uh, 600 times 640 equals 800 times x and instead of multiplying these and then dividing by 800 I like to divide by 800 at this point because it makes life a little bit simpler. 800s cross cancel and I get x on the right hand side and I can divide these two by 100 and see the zeros will just cross off isn't that right? because this will be 6, that will be 8 or you can just do it this way, that's 8, that's 6 so divide each of those by 100 right? now does 8 go into 64? hopefully you might know your 8 times tables 8 into 8 goes once, 8 into 64 goes 8 times and 8 into 0 goes 0 times so I have 6 times 80 over 1 so 80 times 6 6 zero, zero, 6 eight, 48 so the answer is 480 what does that correspond to? what is that in real life? it means that um, if I take a video that is 800 pixels times 600 pixels in definition little dots okay and I want to make it a smaller definition so that it plays better or e easier on your computer that it'll be 640 and then this length here will be 480 pixels right so it's altogether quite a lot less uh, pixels actually if you multiply them anyway